Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, greetings. My name is Karima Benoun, and I am the United Nations Special Rapporteur in the field of cultural rights. I am sorry that I cannot be in Oslo for this important event, but I am very pleased to support Free Muse at the launch of the State of Artistic Freedom 2019 report. Today, March 26, 2019, is a very special day. Ten years ago, on March 26, 2009, the UN Human Rights Council established the UN Mandate on Cultural Rights. That is not the only relevant date to consider. Just over 70 years ago, in December 1948, the UN General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 27 of which provided the first universal guarantees of cultural rights, including the right to enjoy the arts. The launch of the State of Artistic Freedom 2019 report is a great way to mark these important occasions because artistic expression is a core element of cultural rights. One of the positive developments I noted in my recent 10th anniversary report for the UN Human Rights Council is that artistic freedom is no longer marginalized within the field of freedom of expression thanks to work by the mandate and its civil society partners. Free Muse has played a critical role in this mainstreaming of artistic expression as a specific and central human rights issue. As a UN Special Rapporteur, I am charged with examining, monitoring, advising, and publicly reporting on human rights around the world, as well as taking up specific cases of alleged violations. The issues in my brief include the right to take part in cultural life and, specifically, freedom of artistic expression. The work of an organization such as Free Muse is vital to my efforts because it is one of the few organizations systematically documenting violations of freedom of artistic expression globally. I value its in-depth understanding of these issues based on years of experience, as well as its commitment to universality of coverage and its reputation for accuracy. Free Muse's efforts, including reports like the one released today, expose concerns relating to the right to freedom of artistic expression and draw international attention to the pervasive and troubling culture of silencing artists that is all too common around the world in both the Global North and Global South. This report is an in-depth analysis of freedom of artistic expression globally and provides relevant, thorough, and timely information that aids us all in working toward an open and safe environment in which individuals can express themselves creatively and can do so freely. We have never needed that more. Embattled humanity, living in a world of extremisms of all kinds, a world where hate is increasingly being normalized and where the impulse to censor thrives. Embattled humanity desperately needs full implementation of its cultural rights and other universal human rights in 2019. The State of Artistic Freedom 2019 offers recommendations and calls on governments, UN agencies, national human rights institutions, and civil society to address the legislation that is used in some places to restrict artistic expression and encourages the adoption of legal measures consistent with international human rights standards. It is clear that the challenges facing individuals engaging in cultural and artistic expression are proliferating, so it is a timely moment to support this report. I also welcome Free Muse's initiative to continue widening the dialogue around cultural rights through the creation of an Artistic Freedom Defenders Network. In my view, it is vital that a global coalition of cultural rights defenders develops and functions at the international level. I appreciate the significant role that Free Muse, along with its partners in civil society and governments, will play in this regard. According to the State of Artistic Freedom 2019 report, in 2018, four artists were killed. This is unacceptable. We must remember them all. Many more artists are still at risk, subject to physical attacks, prosecution, imprisonment, fines, restricted mobility, and censorship. 
the statistics and additional information available in the State of Artistic Freedom 2019 report show that cultural rights and freedom of artistic expression are yet to be realized in many parts of the world. Urgent attention must be given to achieving this vital human rights goal. However, whilst the report reflects on the solemn year for freedom of artistic expression, it also highlights the potential for the global situation to improve, and we must also look at the positive aspects. In my recent report for the 10th anniversary of the mandate, I noted that we should be proud of our achievements around the world at strengthening and consolidating cultural rights. These were recognized in the statement of UN Secretary General Guterres to the Human Rights Council on February 25th. He emphasized that, quote, more people are speaking out about the indispensability of cultural rights for protecting the diversity of beliefs and practices on our planet, recognizing these rights as an essential tool for preserving diversity and our common heritage, unquote. Free Muse is among the critical civil society actors doing just that, and I thank them sincerely for their efforts. I welcome the report launched today and salute Free Muse, its supporters, its partners, and indeed all of you gathered today for your commitment to realizing cultural rights as a key part of universal human rights. Wole Shoyinka, the first African writer to win the Nobel Prize for Literature, took part in an event with me last fall during the General Assembly. He stressed the need for everyone to choose whether they stand, as he put it, on the side of principles which elevate humanity rather than degrade humanity. And he asserted that the rest of the century should be dedicated to enabling the realization of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. He was right. Indeed, 2019 is a critical moment for us all to recommit to making the vision of the Declaration's Article 27 and its promise of the equal right of all, all, to take part in cultural life and to enjoy the arts, a lived reality around the world. Supporting Free Muse and supporting its new report is one important way of doing just that. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Best wishes.